Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Uh, welcome to an special episode from Growth Hacks Experiences. My name is Juan from Inspira Growth, and today I'm thrilled and honored to have to host as our guest today, Fred. Fred, welcome to Growth Hacks Experiences. How are you? Fred is a specialist uh, in many different aspects, and he's connecting from us all the way from the Caribbean. So we are here in the Netherlands and it's a great environment. It's a great opportunity to be in two different parts of the world. Fred, how are you today? Yeah, well, uh, I'm very good. I'm uh, and thankful to be here today with you. Super. You know, it, this is an exciting opportunity because in Growfax experiences at this, um, we, we have reached we we are we have passed the one the or first season, and you know at this moment we are especially focusing on different segments that grow uh, that that are quite important for entrepreneurs for for business coaches launching their businesses, and in this segment we are for example talking about the the great importance of uh, knowing how to value your product, knowing how to expand your product, uh, having those ex specific tactics and not only tactics, but skills in terms of how to communicate your price, your sales, your, uh, your, your, your processes in, in gathering clients, prospecting clients. And you are one of the experts on this segment that we were bringing uh, for, for the community out there. Fred is not only a certified business coach, and consultant, he he has 10x his own business, and he has more than a few decades in experience of how to launch not only educational project programs but as well companies in a higher pricing level. Take allow to allow me to to share that, Fred. But if you could tell us a little bit of more as well, how how was your experience so far, Fred? How was your start in in business? Yeah, well, uh, my start in business was uh, about uh, 26 years ago when I came to Aruba. And um, yeah, when uh, because when I was in the Netherlands, I was a freelancer and I was a technical trainer. And it was uh, yeah, it was a very nice experience to to be that uh, for the last few years when I was in the Netherlands uh, before uh, 1997 actually. And I was a Microsoft certified trainer, and uh, yeah, it was very nice to uh, to educate uh, business professionals, IT professionals in this case, and uh, yeah, and and it was also easy because uh, you know after your classes you could send the the education center and then and an invoice, and then uh, yeah, you, you go to your to your next class, right? So uh, it was pretty easy but when i came in aruba i tried to find education centers that that where that i could help as well but i couldn't find them so then i uh, i figured well if i want to use my my skills keep on using my skills here uh, you know i have to uh, make sure uh, that, I, that i that i'm going to organize it myself so that's when I started to uh, to design my education company here in Aruba. So, yeah, that's uh, that's that's where it started. And uh, the first three years, I uh, I was able to get a job here as a as a teacher in an uh, in a college in 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 Aruba. And in that college, uh, they were educating uh, secretaries and uh, financial administration uh, people on a college level. So, yeah, uh, and and so in the evening, you know, I was able to uh, uh, yeah to uh, to design my company and to make sure that uh, that I could use my the skills here in Aruba as well and, and help uh, IT professionals and and business professionals as well. So that's how I started, and uh, and I have to tell you, you know, my first project was my first uh, was my most uh, successful project, actually. Nice. <laughs> it was 
it was uh, very uh, successful because I was able to uh, to use one of the new classrooms uh, because in the college I was also uh, 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 opening an, an, an uh, open learning center with a lot of technology in that time. And, uh, and I was able to use one of those classrooms uh, for my new uh, endeavors here in Aruba uh, as a technical trainer as well. And yeah, one of the IT people that, that were uh, servicing uh, th 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 those classrooms with technology, with, uh, with computers and everything and, and, uh, for, for the students, he asked, you know, I, uh, he asked me what, what I did in, in the Netherlands. And I, he told me, wow, I, I would like to attend a class like that. Can't you organize it here? I said, well, you know, I would be, uh, uh, it, it would be my pleasure to do that. Uh, but okay, uh, you know, I, I, uh, I would need a, a classroom uh, with, with at least five or six students. So if you can get me five, you know, you will get... Uh, everything against the uh, cost price. So uh, after a short while, he, he came with he came up with five uh, uh, IT professionals, and uh, yeah, and and and, uh, and I I I also uh, inquired uh, three uh, three IT professionals myself. So we uh, we had together we had eight, and the packages they were about uh, nine thousand dollars. So uh, that was my first project with, with very low costs. You know, I had to buy the books. I had to buy uh, uh, exchangeable hard disk in that time. And I had to make sure they could do exams. So what I included was, were tickets to uh, Puerto Rico in that time. And they had to do six exams. And and. And before they uh, they had to do the first exam, I was already able to uh, to do the exams in Curacao. So yeah, that even lowered my costs. So uh, it was a very nice uh, project of about seventy five thousand dollars. And with that project, with that, that revenue, uh, with the uh, minus the costs, of course, I could buy uh, everything. You know, I could rent uh, two small offices. One was the classroom, was one was the office, and I could uh, equip them with all the equipment I needed. So that was uh, it was my uh, successful first project story. Oh, you are you are muted. Uh. Yes, uh, sorry, and uh, yeah, you know it, it. It makes me reflect in the fact that we we can find the right clients uh, on a different tier of pricing. As you said, like you, 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 it, it was your first project and I'm already launching a product of $9,000. It was quite amazing. It's quite amazing. How, how, what is, was, was that something already that you already had uh, considered uh, like this is the price or was you testing? Yeah, well, I, I uh, what I did was I, I was looking at the prices in the Netherlands uh, with the uh, the prices of the education centers over there, and I put together a project uh, with those prices, and of course I had to look at uh, the prices of uh, course material, I had to look uh, the the courses of uh, the the prices of uh, yeah, getting the classroom. Uh, which I could use for a very low price. It was, I think it was only uh, 15 euros an hour or something like that. So that's, that's amazing. And uh, yeah, what more? And of course, the exams and the, the, the flight tickets. So uh, yeah, and the prices, yeah, they were, yeah, they were alike they, uh, as they were in, uh, in education centers in, in the Netherlands. And, uh, and that's where I all, already was a, a Microsoft certified trainer. So I was able to provide those trainings. Um, and also what I did was, uh, it was a, a nine month project and it was two evenings per week. And uh, because, uh, you know, in the Netherlands, uh, the courses were three, four or five days. So it was one week and then you were uh, ready. 
And what I did, I, uh, I divided uh, the courses over uh, three, four or five weeks. So it was, for instance, it was Tuesday evening from, uh, from seven till 10. And it was uh, Thursday evening from seven till 10. And uh, yeah, then, and in the weekend, I could study a little bit on, on the material. So it gave me even more breath uh, yeah, to, uh, to really uh, um, provide a very good uh, product. You, you know, I, I was even going to mention that and ask you that because uh, even though the Netherlands and Aruba, they, they have a strong history as uh, the Caribbean being part of the Netherlands. Uh, still, there are two different, very strong different cultures. And you as an entrepreneur moving into a new country, new world, new country, it, it, it resounds a lot to what many of us are have, are doing, coming to Europe and starting from a completely different culture. So exactly what you did with changing a product, which now to me reflects even more into the fact that uh, maybe in, in Caribbean, in Latin America, we like to take things more relaxed <laughs> and not at once. How, how, was, how, how was that experience, uh, the culture shock uh, did you were there skills that you had to certainly adapt to for your businesses there? Yeah, well, uh, you know, when I, I I came here on a vacation and I found a lady over here, so uh, yeah, uh, that, at that moment that was the reason to stay here. And uh, it yeah, happens to <laughs> it happens to most of us. <laughs> it, it happens to most of us. So yeah. it happens to me too. So that's why I came here, and uh, yeah, it, it it was really a culture shock for me. I remember, but I you know I wanted to get into that culture, so uh, yeah, I, I I did my effort. I remember the first thing I learned here was uh, patience, actually, because in the Netherlands we are not so patient, not so patient as uh, as in uh, as here in Aruba. Uh, so, for instance, I, I remember that I was driving in my car and suddenly the car before me stopped and started to uh, have a conversation with someone, you know. <laughs> so it was, so I learned very fast, actually. <laughs> nice, nice. And, and they and they are not going to stop the car, you know, at the, the side of the, the road, no, in the middle of the road. <laughs> But okay, it's uh, it's how it goes. That that's one of yeah one of the things you know one of the things I really remember that for me was a really uh, a culture shock. <laughs> uh, but okay, I got into it. You know, I I, I got into the language, which is Pocumento over here, uh, by buying a book, learning the, uh, the 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 words and small sentences. And listening to uh, uh, to people that spoke Papimento, and then learn as a baby, you know, uh, I just repeated what they were saying, and uh, like a baby can do, right? And uh, yeah, it, it's it's kind of uh, funny because you know if they are talking with each other, I'm I'm repeating what they are saying. Of course, that's a little bit uh, funny, right? But that's uh, that's a very good uh, way to learn it. And then, uh, yeah, when you go to the shops or something like that, then uh, yeah, you start to do the the basic things like bom uh, dia, no, bom buy, and uh, things like yeah. And then, uh, yeah, you buy your your stuff and uh, you try to uh, to use the words you have learned. <laughs> and it well, but okay, it it, it took me, uh, I think, more than five years to get into Pocumento for more than. Uh, 70% or 80%, something like that. So uh, it takes some time. Absolutely. Super. Wonderful. Now, now Fred, uh, some of your expertise, because there are many, and I, I know even because I, I know I, there is even a, 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 an, an artistic side of you that some of us will hear. Uh, 
in the sense of sales and in the sense of uh, excelling in sales and understanding how 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 to how to create high tickets how how we define how we define it high tickets products what, what do you mm -hmm. consider are the first steps that entrepreneurs should accept should gain uh, so should should obtain to 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 excel in sales yeah yeah i think you have to get uh, you have to try to get uh, the skills on your belt and then, and if you have the skills on your belt, then you can start to uh, create the high tickets to provide those skills to uh, yeah to uh, uh, to other business professionals or other people you want to help. And uh, yeah, and once they get the skills, of course, yeah, they will get uh, yeah they will uh, be able to provide more value to the marketplace, and they will be able uh, be uh, yeah, they will be uh, rewarded uh, by the marketplace, and then, and that's how it went with me as well. You know, I, I first had to learn a lot of skills, so I started out uh, with doing jobs. So, uh, being in jobs, I started as a technician, and and then I uh, I went into uh, uh, to then I became a software engineer. Uh, I was a technician in. Uh, with with uh, a few companies in the, the Netherlands, like Info Products in that time, and uh, um, was another one. Uh, uh, they, 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 in that time, that there were shops, they they uh, they uh, they sold uh, IBM computers and, and Compaq computers and HP printers and uh, and, so and software, that, and they did it in shops. And then, and then, okay, later, yeah, it, it was uh, they, they they changed it a little bit uh, again, and uh, but okay, when I was working in those shops, you know, I wanted to get, to study in the evening, so I uh, yeah I I wanted to uh, to get more skills actually and then more knowledge, and uh, so that's why I uh, I went I I, I went to uh, another company where I could do that where they gave me. The, the resources and possibilities, the time to uh, to study, and uh, in my case it was Philips Electronics uh, in the Netherlands. So it was the the, the sales the sales company of Philips in, in the, within the Netherlands, and I became a software engineer over there. First, I was a technician. I went to uh, all kinds of uh, of different plants to uh, to repair and service uh, personal computers. At Philips Electronics, and later I uh, I became a software engineer. So I, I was uh, part of a um, an, a department of about seventy IT people. And in the evening, I was able to study, and I uh, I wanted to study uh, a bachelor program at that time, which gave me uh, some skills that I was desiring. So I and I have been I had been studying different programs and I found one program that really attracted me and that uh, that uh, gave me the skills of uh, uh, um, financial administration, you could say business, economics, uh, management, and leadership. And the other one was uh, IT. Uh, business IT, you could say, and the idea was in, in that program at the end, uh, when you got your bachelor degree, that you would be able to be uh, the translator between uh, the, the the different departments in a company, and uh, between the the software engineers that that created the software, because they were not able to talk with each other in that time because technology was not as uh, uh, um, uh, approachable as as uh, as it is nowadays. Everyone uh, knows about everything in IT nowadays uh, at a certain level, but at that time, you know, it was still the abacadabra. So uh, yeah, so that's uh, that's how I got into that. So I got more skills, and then. After that, I uh, I started to learn another skill. And why did I do that? Because I was uh, unemployed for uh, for 
maybe six months, something like that. So I was thinking, oh, wow, man, uh, what could I do, you know, when I get unemployed, uh, but still have the possibility to get a, a quick job, right? And then I came up, what, what do I love to do? What do I, uh, do I, uh, what do I want to do? So I, uh, I started to, uh, to get into, uh, I, I decided to get into music, and uh, so music gigs, right? Because they are easy to get, and uh, and training gigs. So uh, to become a, a trainer or a teacher. So that's why I. Uh, and after that, I uh, I luckily uh, got an, uh, a job as a as a lecturer on a on a on a on a bachelor program, on a bachelor university in the, in the Netherlands. So that's where I learned that skills, you know, the, the teaching skills. And uh, I, I even got a certification for that to, uh, to be able to do that in a, in a special program they, they provided. And uh, yeah, to be able to teach on, on that level and bachelor level. And uh, yeah, and in the meantime, I started to, uh, uh, to become a member of uh, one band, two bands, three bands. I started to play as a bass player and a, and a backing vocal, you know, to get into that and, and, yeah, and earn some money over there as well, you know, get a, another income stream. And then after, and okay, but the, the teacher position was only for a few years. It was uh, to help them uh, because they had a, a teacher that was ill and uh, for a longer time. So I, they gave me three years with it. So after that, I, uh, I started to... Uh, uh, to work as a technical trainer with uh, in an education center as a freelancer and uh, yeah it was really a little bit scary to do that you know for me uh, because yeah I had to uh, to teach uh, uh, experienced IT professionals and uh, but okay uh, the, uh, the director over there said well just give it a try man uh, you know uh, just uh, attend another course from one of the uh, one of the trainers, and uh, yeah, I tried to get into it and see how it goes. Well, and then, and then I had to do my first training, first technical training, and I was sweating and it was uh, terrible. And it and and they gave they give you a review, you know, at the end an evaluation, uh, and that it, it was so bad. <laughs> it was terrible. It was. My first, my first technical training in Eindhoven, in Eindhoven, in the Netherlands. So, yeah, that's. Uh, but okay, after that, gradually, you know, I got into it, and uh, yeah, and then I got better and better. So, uh, yeah, that those are the things you have to get through sometimes, you know, to to to, to yeah to get the next skill and to to become better and to get experience. That's the only way, you know. It's sometimes you have to go deep. So, uh, yeah, I went deep a few times and, uh, yeah. And after a few, yeah, a few years of being a technical trainer, it was very good. You know, uh, I, I could earn good money. I, I could earn, let's say, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, at least thousand uh, floor, uh, guilders in that time. It was still guilders uh, per day. So for me, uh, it was only, uh, and, and they could plan me in as much as I wanted. So, uh, you know, for me, it was, okay, how many days do I want to work uh, this year, right? So uh, is it 100 days or 200 days, something like that? So uh, I made sure I had some vacation and I had some time to, uh, uh, to, uh, to learn new things, right? So, uh, I mean, yeah, but I had a very nice uh, income. But then I went on vacation to Aruba, and uh, yeah, <laughs> and everything. <laughs> Life happens. <laughs> everything changed. Everything wow. changed. <laughs> wow! So, so just to get to the to the to the to the community entrepreneurs that uh, they are listening to us, uh, they are, let's say, just to give them some some perspective. I think that it's amazing to consider that, um, first of all, thousand thousand healers. Per day, that's about almost like 500 euros a day now. So you can imagine actually that person that, that you were earning that much already. 
Wow, that's amazing. Uh, the second thing, actually, what you mentioned as well is that indeed, uh, I think that that's something that a lot of people, uh, a lot of entrepreneurs fail to grasp now. And it's that we, a lot of people, we, uh, once I also was considering that, that we tend to gain skills and more skills and more skills, but we don't compile them into creating something new. Normally people just jump to the next skill, to the next skill. I got this skill and now they just jump, keep learning, keep learning and keep learning instead of really compiling them and then create something completely new, like what you were, the experience yeah. that you were and, and what you keep doing as well. That, that's, that's I think actually it's a very important lesson. Thank you for sharing that. It's an important lesson to, to entrepreneurs out there now. And the second thing, yeah. what you you were considering, I that you were mentioning as well, is in the fact of that, uh, we all the first video that we create will be bad. The first course that we create will be bad. The first the first time that we do something will be bad, but it's needed. You need to start, you need to do that first one, you to go to the second one, to the third one, till you really become so many after the 21 better. Uh, and then you get the big bucks, 500 euros a day, uh, and keep growing. So thank you also for sharing that, the, the sense of con consistency. Great, Fred. Thank you very much. Well, so uh, happy to be there. I'd love to, <laughs> to help you, to help uh, everyone. <laughs> in their journey, right? And uh, maybe it helps. Thank you, Fred. Uh, so what, uh, I, I would love to ask you a, a few more questions, Fred. Indeed, uh, my, my one, one more question will be, uh, what do you, how do you see it in the sense of what is 10X a business? How, how, how would you describe that for an entrepreneur? Yeah, well, uh, to 10x a business, uh, I uh, I started to uh, to do a, pr a small project with one product in my company to 10x. And uh, if you 10x, you know uh, that's what I uh, yeah what I uh, what I heard uh, someone uh, mentioning uh, is that you know if you 10x, you really have to get in uh, to think and to get into. Uh, big changes in your company instead of for instance if you say you know i want to double or triple you know uh yeah, you, you will get lazy because you know uh, it's, it's a little bit too easy uh, actually and uh, you might not even uh, get there because you know uh, yeah you will uh, uh, you will not really think okay uh, oh, oh boy uh, i get 10x of this uh, how am i going to handle that right so uh, yeah, that is uh, that is really uh, very important, you know, to uh, to make it a little bit bigger than, for instance, doubling or, or tripling. And uh, yeah, and we started to do that in uh, back in in uh, last April. Uh, we started to do a project uh, like uh, like that uh, to ten x, and um, yeah, and it really got some got some impact in in our company. Uh, the good thing was that we already had a lot of systems in place uh, that were already designed on growth. So uh, that, that, that was helpful, of course. But okay, when you start to, for instance, 10x your, uh, your, uh, your, um, your marketing investment, you know, your promotions, for instance, then, uh, yeah, in, in our case, we notice, wow, we get a lot of messages, you know, we, we are the whole day through, we are uh, uh, answering messages, for instance. So then, yeah, and we couldn't do the other work we had to do here in the office. So, uh, yeah, that resulted very fast in, uh, okay, getting into a new uh, virtual assistant uh, that, that was uh, handling the messages and, uh, and and setting the appointments, right? So... Yeah, which we could do before uh, easily ourselves, you know, on the side of the other uh, of the other task we had in, in the office. And uh, yeah, so uh, that was the first one. And then okay, we had a so we thought, oh wow, that's uh, that's uh, 
that was uh, done, right? But then, for instance, the next step, what you uh, what you might notice is, okay, you get a lot of uh, appointments, right? And we couldn't handle the, yeah, we could handle the appointments then, but then the other work uh, would, uh, would not not be done or, uh, or not be done uh, well anymore. So yeah, we had to get into uh, to new uh, salespeople. So so we yeah so then uh, yeah at that moment yeah we had to to hire a new uh, yeah a few new uh, salespeople for in, in our case and uh, yeah and yeah after we uh, we we, uh, we put them in place and uh, yeah. Uh, educated them uh, on, uh, on how to do it uh, and uh, how to get uh, the best uh, best possibilities uh, yeah then we were able to uh, to breathe again <laughs> and and and, uh, and solve the next thing right so actually yeah that, 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 that's how it goes and uh, yeah and at this moment yeah we are for instance at, at this moment right now we are working on the next step which is okay. We want more products into the project, so of course, yeah, that's that's also going to uh, take some extra capacity uh, from uh, yeah, from the people we work with. So also some extra uh, sales. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that's what you can expect, you know, when you are ten uh, xing, and uh, in the meantime, we are six months further, and uh, and sometimes you know uh, the the results you get. Are coming from a very different corner than you expected. Uh, so, uh, because you know, if you have to, uh, because what we did, of course, we, we went from a small market in Aruba to a bigger, to 10 times markets, uh, 10 times the population in the neighborhood here in the Caribbean. So, uh, yeah, and then you have to warm up the market. So, that takes a lot of patience. Uh, you know, they, they they have to get to know you. They don't know your company. They don't know your uh, your your brand. And they don't know, for instance, uh, and, uh, they don't know you and your products. And they have to see you at least uh, seven times. Uh, no, that's what we all learn, and maybe more. So, yeah, that uh, that takes a lot of uh, dedication to uh, to wait for the the first uh, result. But okay, the, the, the nice thing, for instance, the nice surprise we had uh, at the end of August, we noticed, you know, we, have, yeah, we are looking at uh, daily results, weekly results, monthly results, but not the whole year through to yearly results. So we were looking at yearly results. And then we noticed, wow, we have the same results at the end of August as uh, the last few years. So, wow, bang, boom, right? <laughs> That was a nice. Uh, that was a nice surprise. So, wow. uh, amazing, amazing, Fred. Thank you, yeah. thank you, Fred. Thank you for sharing. I I will there. Uh, I will consider as well that if in our community, in in if someone in our community knows someone that uh, knows a business owner that is looking to achieve the same, uh, that is looking to ten x their business. Uh, they are they are probably maybe located in the Caribbean or in the Netherlands. Um, how would they best get in touch with you, Fred? Yeah, well, uh, you know, they can. Uh, I'm 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 also a business coach, uh, coach, a certified business coach and, and consultant. So uh, I, I I created a special website for that. And it's called uh, reconnoiter.org. So it's R E C O N N O I R T E, reconnoiter.org. Uh, so uh, on that website, uh, you know, they can find information about me. Um, but as you mentioned, you know, I'm also into entertainment. So uh, if they search uh, Google uh, Aruba Sinatra, they will find a lot of information about me too. So uh, it's another way to do it. Wonderful, wonderful. We're going to make sure to have all the right information and the links for to contact with Fred, contact you, Fred, uh, for our community in our all our in videos and in 
we we share now this podcast as well in all platforms spotify google uh, apple um for everyone out there thank you for listening to us for subscribe if you would like uh, to share more from us and if you have a question for fred please let us know we'll make sure to get the right answer for you fred it has been a pleasure thank you very much sir thank you so much uh, Juanca.